Hi everyone, welcome to my green closet. Today we are going to do a girlfriend collective fit check where we are literally gonna be talking about the fit of Girlfriend Collective and I'm going to be reviewing a few of their styles. I feel like Girlfriend Collective is a fairly well-known brand, but just as a quick overview, they are a sustainable, active, and swimwear brand who uses all recycled plastic for their pieces. So all their pieces are synthetic, but they are made from recycled PET. They also have some other great sustainability initiatives, including a take back recycle program, and they even developed a special filter that you can use on your washing machine to catch microplastics. And they also are a very size inclusive brand. So they have a size range from extra, extra small to 6X, which is one of the largest size ranges I've seen from a sustainable fashion brand. And so speaking of size, I will quickly go over my measurements and size so you know where I'm coming from with this. I have a 38 inch bust, which on the Girlfriend Collective size chart puts me in a size large, but we will discuss that a bit because I actually have a much smaller band to cup size. And then I have a 31 inch waist and a 42 inch hip, which puts me again in a large on their size chart. So today I'm gonna to be talking about their compressive pocket leggings, the Devon compressive cami, as well as the float ultralight run short and the Paloma racerback bra. And we'll start with the leggings because these are one of their most popular products. Okay, so these are Girlfriend's compressive leggings. They have two styles of this, one without pockets and one with pockets. I love the pockets for putting my phone in. And they have two inseam options. I went with the shorter one because I am just on the verge of petite. I often find that leggings are too long for me and I end up with scrunchy ankles. So I thought the 7 8 length would be better. However, I actually don't like them as much and wish that I went with the longer leg. I realize that I really don't like cold ankles, especially when I'm working out in the winter. So I always end up wearing these with higher socks anyways, and I just should have gone with the longer one. So as mentioned, I got these in a size large, and this is their moss color, which I believe is one of their regular colors. They constantly have limited edition colors, but I think this one is pretty regularly available. So I don't actually love the fit of these leggings, and I think I should have sized down. I am on the lower end of the large size range, and these leggings are sold as ultra compressive, and I definitely wouldn't say they are ultra compressive. Probably if I went down a size, they would be. But I find they actually fit quite well in the thigh and the leg, but once we get up to the hips and the waist especially, I definitely have some extra room here. I'll come a bit closer so you guys can see, like there is quite a bit, especially in the back, I find this part, like even without stretching it at all, it's quite loose here and yeah, it's just not at all compressive in the waist. And I find that if I am working out, it does tend to kind of slide down a little bit and I end up having to pull up the waist. And honestly, this issue is probably amplified by the fact that there are pockets because if I have a phone or other things in my pocket, they probably tend to pull them down a little more, which then means I have to hike them back up a bit. So I definitely think sizing down would have solved that problem. However, I also don't know if that would have meant that the thighs are then too tight. Now the rise on these, they call ultra high rise, and I would definitely say it is that. These at the front sit at my natural waist, and I have quite a long torso, so often high rise things don't actually sit at my natural waist. In the back, if anything, they go above my natural waist a bit. But for me, I love this type of super high rise pant for working out, especially because you can wear it with something like this cami, and they just touch. Now let's quickly chat about the material. The material for me was a little disappointing. I feel like it's a bit on the thinner side. Like this area where it's doubled up, I actually find that to be a really nice thickness for leggings, but it is a lot thinner obviously where it's not doubled up. Quality wise, I do think these are very well made and the construction quality is good, but just for an ultra compressive legging, I was expecting it to be a little thicker and denser. And it's definitely opaque and squat proof. I've never at all felt like it's gonna go sheer anywhere, but again, it just feels like for an ultra compressive legging, the material is a little light. So yeah, I guess overall, I do think they are a good pair of leggings, but fit wise, they don't work quite right for me. I think sizing down would have solved some of these waist fit issues. So 
If like me, you are on the lower end of the size range, I probably would recommend sizing down in the leggings. Okay, so then let's move on to the top. So this is the Devon Compressive Cami. Again, it's in the moss color, and I think it makes a really cute set. And this one I did end up sizing down in. So I got this in a medium, even though I technically fit into the large. And the fit on this is quite interesting. So it does have a built-in bra in here. And I feel like the band is okay, but even on me, even sizing down, I do think it could still be a little tighter. But then once you have this on top, I feel comfortable in it. Now I should say that this is a low to medium impact bra, so I wasn't expecting something super compressive and high impact. And it is very comfortable. I've worn this doing yoga and some light exercise and it's felt good. Strap wise, definitely having larger cups, bigger straps always tend to be a bit better. And I knew going into this that the straps might not be the most comfortable just cause they can dig in a little bit. And I do have another bra which has wider straps, which is more comfortable in the shoulders. But I thought that this was a really cute style and that I would also wear this more as a top, which I have. And yeah, I mean, I knew what I was getting into with the smaller straps, so it wasn't a disappointment or anything like that. So now with the actual bust and the cups, like I said, technically I should be a size larger. And I do find that this is ever so slightly a little tighter than I would like ideally. But again, I think if I went up a size, it actually would be too big even in the cup area. So I am being kind of nitpicky with this, but I do feel like I just get a little bit of spillage out of the top. Nothing that anyone would necessarily notice, but just comfort wise, I feel like the cups could be a pinch bigger. The band could be a bit smaller, but again, I do wanna make it very clear, I have quite a large cup to band ratio. So in terms of standard sizing, that's a problem I encounter all the time. It's not necessarily a fault on the brand. It's just how I tend to fit into products. So the back is a bit of a lower back. Again, I think the design is really cute. And then with the built-in bra, that of course runs the whole way around. And it has a bit of a nice, softer edge on the inside, which makes it more comfortable. Nothing on these pieces feels uncomfortable in terms of seams rubbing or getting itchy. Like I've moved around in these quite a bit and I've never felt like there was any irritation anywhere. And then again, I just had the same feeling about the material where I do wish it was a little bit thicker, but again, I'm also in Canada where <laughs> it's quite cold, but Girlfriend Collective, I believe is from California. So people probably want lighter fabrics there. So overall, I am very happy that I sized down in the top, wish I would have sized down in the bottoms as well. But even with the few kind of nitpicky issues I had with the top, I definitely think the top fits a lot better than the bottoms. Okay, so now I have on the Paloma racer back bra and the float ultralight run short. And these are both in size large. So let's start with the bra to compare it to the other one. The large is definitely too large, even though I technically am supposed to fit it based on my bust measurement. There is just way too much extra room in the band here and I don't feel very supported. Now this is the same fabric as the other one and the leggings, so it is supposed to be a more compressive fabric. And I just, yeah, I don't have the support that I need in this one. Even in the cups, I think I would be fine with sizing down and it would give me a bit more compression to work out in. However, with the design of this racer back, I do feel like it is a little far forward, so not the best for people with larger cups. I feel like this, should, at least on me, be cut back here more. I find even though it's supposed to be a long line, it's almost a little too low. Like I wish that there was about an inch taken off in the strap. So this whole thing was kind of pulled up a bit, which would give me a little bit more coverage here in the cup and also bring the band up ever so slightly. Like that would have for sure improved the fit for me if this was brought up. Construction wise, it uses that same band on the inside with a bit of a softer fabric here, which is nice. And I do think the cut of the racer back is quite nice. Sometimes I find racer backs gape a little bit here, just the way that they sit on my shoulders. And this one for me doesn't. And again, also this one is a low to medium impact. So I wasn't expecting a super compressive bra, but just this underband here for me isn't great. And I am actually very curious to try their high impact bra because I think that could probably give me 
that compression that I needed as long as the fit was a bit better. But again, I would be a bit concerned sizing down in something like that because it might be too compressive. Although one great thing about Girlfriend Collective is they have gotten so big that they are available now in quite a few stores. I know that there are some stores locally that carry them. So I would actually be able to go in and try on their bras and leggings instead of just ordering them online. And that is definitely what I would do if I purchased any more Girlfriend Collective products. I feel like the fit of Girlfriend Collective has actually been a lot trickier for me compared to many other brands. I think that they've actually developed their own fit versus using this kind of standardized system that is widely used across the industry which I think is good in many cases, especially if it fits their customer well, but I actually fit the standardized sizing quite well. I even used to work as a fit model when I was in university. And for my body, I definitely feel like Girlfriend Collective is not necessarily made for those with a larger cup to band. I feel like their cut is more straight. So let's move right along to the shorts. I actually prefer these shorts to the leggings and I find that they fit better even though they both are a large. So these are made of a different material. They actually have 11% less spandex, so they are less compressive and less tight, but I like the material. It is a brushed material. It has more of a matte finish versus the other ones, which are a little bit more shiny and just feel more synthetic. I mean, they're both synthetics, but to me, those shiny ones like feel very synthetic, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, because of the thinner fabric, I do feel like you see a bit more lumps and bumps. Like you can definitely see some of my underwear lines here, but the lighter color of these as well, of course, is gonna be a contributing factor in that. So with these, again, I do have extra space in the waist and I probably could have sized down, but because they are shorts and maybe also because they don't have the pockets, I find that these ones don't really slide down and I don't really have to pull them up very much. Oh, and this design also doesn't have a side seam so that does affect the fit a little bit like they are for sure looser in the leg looser in the hip and I guess because they aren't specifically a compressive piece I wasn't expecting these to be super tight super fitted you know really streamlined everywhere I kind of was expecting this so these weren't a disappointment in the same way that the leggings were so size wise with these, I think I could probably size down to get a little bit of a better fit in the waist, but I also don't find the large uncomfortable. I really like these shorts. I find them quite comfortable. And I think the size and fit is okay. Like I wouldn't give these a negative review. <laughs> Okay, so as an overall fit summary of Girlfriend Collective, I found that because I was on the lower end of the size range, I definitely should have sized down in many of the products. But I've also heard from people that they could have sized up about like a half size to even a full size in products. So I also don't wanna make a blanket statement that you should size down. You know, fit with bras is tricky. Fit with anything that is supposed to be quite tight is tricky because bodies of course are so different. So if you can try them on first, that is for sure what I would recommend doing. Compression wise, I definitely don't think these are ultra compressive products. I've owned other leggings that are quite a bit more compressive than these. And that for me, I think threw me off the most because if I'm buying something that says it's ultra compressive, I'm expecting it to be very tight, very fitted. So to have any kind of looseness or gaping, that just wasn't at all what I was expecting. I do think they make a good product. They seem to be very well constructed. I think the fabric is good quality, even if it is a little on the thinner side. I haven't had any kind of issues with the fabric at all. And sustainability wise, they're also doing some great things. So overall, I do think they are a good brand. I just think the fit maybe can be a little bit tricky to work out. This is honestly the brand I've had the most fit challenges with. But again, it is something that is more fitted and that you're looking for a very specific fit with. So that inherently comes with more fit challenges. But to kind of build on this, I think it'd be incredibly helpful to hear your guys' experiences with Girlfriend Collective. So did you wear something that was your size? Did you size up or down? What styles do you own and how do they fit on your body? I think the more information we can collect in the comments, hopefully that makes it easier for people to figure out what styles and sizes work for them. So thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to reading your thoughts on Girlfriend Collective in the comments. And also let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. All right, and I will see you in the next one.